Welcome to this series of videos all about tools. I'm going to take you through a whole bunch of different tools that you as an electrician are going to use and are going to need in your trade. Hello and welcome to another video. Today I have some spanners. So firstly here we have the shifting spanner. The shifting spanner is called that because we can shift the jaws so that they can adjust to different size nuts and bolts. We would use that because when we're out on the job, a lot of times you don't know what you're gonna come across. So this is an extremely versatile and handy tool to have. However, there is one issue with a shifting spanner and that is the jaw itself um, can move slightly because of the way it's designed. So if you get a really rusted old nut that you're trying to undo, then what can happen is that slight movement in the jaw can cause you to round the nut off, um, which is not ideal because then it makes it really hard to get the, the, the nut and the bolt out. So keep that in mind. Very, very handy tool. They come in different sizes. So that's a large one. There's a small one. They come smaller than that. Um, something we use a lot as electricians, um, but just be mindful of that, that jaw issue. Then we have the multi-grip. The multi-grip is a tool that we use a bit. We don't use a lot, but we do use, use it a bit. And it's really designed for grabbing hold of objects that are quite large and you can adjust it so it can go to different sizes depending on what you're trying to hold on to. And we use this a lot when we're holding on to or trying to put in glands and other large plastic um, sleeving apparatuses for, for cabling. So we would hold on to that and we can, we can uh, manipulate it with that. So multi-grips are quite handy for us. We wouldn't use them a lot, as I said. Plumbers would use these much, much more than, than we do, but there you go, that's it. All right, moving on. I have here some spanners. Now you will probably recognize these sorts of things. These are the things that um, mechanics use a lot of. So on one end they have a, what's called a ring spanner and on this end it's called a C spanner because it's in the shape of a C. So these all have set sizes. Uh, they're quite useful when we're doing up nuts and bolts on new equipment and we don't want to damage obviously the nuts so we will try to use these where possible because they are exact sizes. They don't have the problem the shifting spanner has with the jaw moving because they're cast. Um, so it's not something we use a lot of but very handy to have floating around. Okay and now over here I have what we call sockets. So this is a socket wrench and the sockets look like this and they basically just clip onto the wrench and then we can turn that and tighten things up. And we can adjust that so we can loosen as well as tighten. Very handy. Uh, we use these probably more so than we would the C spanners um, because they're easy, very quick to, to ratchet up and tighten something up. You can get extension pieces for them like this so you can extend out if, if you have, you know, to get hold of something that's in an awkward spot, you can do that as well. So very, very handy tool. Always should have a basic soccer set. You don't have to have one this large that I have here. Uh, the one I use is actually literally just half a dozen sockets that are the sizes that we most commonly come across um, and just a soccer wrench and that's all I carry around with me. So that's it for spanners. Um, hope you got something out of that. I'll see you later. 